Welcome to the 2007 First Robotics Competition and this year's game, Rack and Roll. I think the best part for this for the people who enter is that they get a real good hands-on experience of what it's like to be an engineer. The good thing for me is that I get to see these really uh, creative and enthusiastic young people doing really amazing and creative things. Our robot's name is Stitch 3. We are teachers that, you know, we're all nerds or like, we don't like things for Uber, but we're all um, kids that are looking into engineering from the very beginning to the very end. We're working hard on it. that first is a good vehicle or a tool to help the children to apply science, math, and technology in a meaningful way. And because it's done in a sports-like environment, we feel that many more students will be involved in engineering as a result of their participation. And we've already got students in our University of Hawaii College of Engineering as a result of their participation in first. So we have great anecdotal stories to prove that first works. Hi, my name is Mark Leone. I'm the Robotics Alliance Project Manager. I work for NASA and we're here to support all these teams. And Hawaii has done an extraordinary thing. They've actually put it in their legislature. They're taking things like first robotics, things that are fun for students, makes math meaningful, and putting that in the classroom. This is something that uh, the rest of the country will probably model themselves. In so many ways, Hawaii is being a leader. We're very proud of our relationship with Hawaii. Now, you asked what was the outcome. The outcome, if, if you look at the brand support, which looks at longitudinal evidence from students that actually take this on, is there's a high percentage of students that go into engineering, a higher percentage of going to PhD programs. Ultimately, that's what NASA wants. We want those students to come back and help build our next generation of spacecraft. Some of the things that we need to do, the technology does not yet exist. And through innovative and young approaches that students might have in this experience, we feel we will solve those problems. Now that I've been through first and I know the technical skills, and now I'm actually going to be a teacher in engineering. Because of first? Because of first.